the first step we need to do before working with Laravel is by setting up the Laravel development environment. And in this lecture, we'll be looking at some of the options or ways you can use to set up the Laravel development environment. So Laravel has a few options you can use. And one of the options is by setting up using the XAMP. So the XAMP is a web server solution stack, which is prepackaged with PHP, Apache, MariaDB, and PL. There is also a, an alternative which you can use called WAMP server, but that one runs only on Windows. Another development environment you can use is by setting up using Homestead. Homestead is a prepackaged Vagrant box that provides you a wonderful development environment without requiring you to install any other server software. Another option you can use is by setting up using Valet. And Valet runs only on Mac. So the Laravel Valet when your machine starts. Another development environment is by setting up using Laradoc. Laradoc is a PHP development environment that runs on Docker. That means you have to install Docker first. So for the purpose of this course, we're going to be setting up our Laravel development environment using the XAMP. And the good thing with the XAMP is that it's a cross-platform. That means it's compatible with variety of its, uh, operating system. So let me show you something from the Laravel documentation about the server requirements. So here you can go to Laravel documentation. And I'm going to click the first link, open a new tab. And here on the documentation, you'll see all about the installation process. So it's good that you follow this documentation because this process might be change from time to time. So the first thing you're going to do is go to the installation. And here you'll see we have something we call server requirements. So the Laravel framework has a few system requirements. All of these requirements are satisfied by the Laravel Homestead virtual machine. So it's highly recommended that you use the Homestead as your local Laravel development environment. However, if you're not using Homestead, you may need to make sure that your server meets the following requirements. So because you're going to be setting up our Laravel or our local Laravel development environment, we must make sure that our server meets all these requirements. That is because you'll be using the XAMP and make sure that the version of PHP installed or prepackage with that XAMP is 7.2 and or above. The next requirement is bcbug PHP extension, which means must be enabled. C type PHP extension, JSON, MB string PHP extension, we have OpenSSL, PDO, tokenizer, and XML PHP extension. So these are some of the server requirements we, make sure, we must make sure that they are satisfied. Then let's go to the homestead and see what are the requirements? So about Laravel Homestead, if we go to the introduction, we'll see on this introduction, the introduction says, Laravel strive to make the entire PHP development experience delightful, including a local development environment. And Laravel Homestead is a pre-official, pre-packaged Vagrant box that provides your wonderful development environment without requiring to install PHP, or web server, or any other server software. So this means, we will, by using Hopstead, all these softwares are pre-installed with that. That is, softwares like Git or the versions. We have also other options, so optional softwares, which are also pre-packaged with this, uh, which are available in Homestead. So we have the steps to install the Homestead. And the first thing you need to do is by installing the VirtualBox or VMware, and as well as Vagrant because Vagrant is a software now which is prepackaged with, with all these softwares. Then you can follow these steps. So let's go to Valet. And here we'll see about Laravel Valet introduction. And Valet is a Laravel development environment for Mac Minimalist. Now Vagrant, now ETC host file. You can even share your sites publicly using the local tunnels. So if you look here, you'll see Laravel Valet configures your Mac to always run. Then using DNS mask, Valet provides all requests on the .test domain to point to site installed on your local machine. So out of the box, Valet supports includes but not limited to all this. So once you install Valet, you can be able now to run all these kinds of softwares like WordPress, all this. 
let's go to let's check about Laradoc. Laradoc is not part of or a uh, part of Laravel documentation as you can see is not available so we are going to go to the official website of Laradoc. So Laradoc And here you'll see about the requirements for setting up using Laradoc. And the first thing you need to do is by installing Git and then the Docker. Because Laradoc runs on Docker. So if you click on Docker, and this is about Docker, you can go to docker.com because this is the first thing you need to do by installing this. So here you'll see Docker for developers. Building and deploying new application is first and cont with containers. Because Docker containers wrap up software and its dependencies into a standardized unit for software development that includes everything it needs to run. Code, runtime, system tools, and libraries. So this guarantees that your application will always run the same and makes collaboration as simple as sharing a container image. So Docker con containers, whether Windows or Linux, are backed by Docker tools and API. So you can download this one and you want to use this option. So for the purpose of this course, I said you're going to be setting up using the XAMP. So in the next lecture, we'll make sure that we download the XAMP, which will make sure they meet all these requirements. See you in the next lecture.